Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Angel 23 Hut video. We're getting into the top 5 best centers from all price ranges, episode 1. We're going to be getting right into it and I hope you guys do enjoy. Just keep in mind, none of these cards are in order. So first up, we got Jack Hughes, 83 overall. He's going for 4k, You'll probably get him for 3k. Now checking out his stats, he's 80, uh, 87 speed. His shooting is all in the high 80s. His hands are in the high 90s. Faceoffs are a 79, so aren't the best, but you can't expect much from these uh, from these early base cards here. But this is a great a great card if you're just getting started. Cheap. I really enjoy using this card, and he's still in, in my lineup. Uh, I got him on the third line. Checking out his other cards. This is the Hut 23 one. He's got 88 speed. His shooting is even better in the uh, in the 88 now down the board. His shooting, his hands are now in the low uh, 90s. Uh, his faceoffs did improve to an 81, still not the greatest, but the Hughes cards are just really good. Also got his game day tilt card, his highest rated overall one. I'm pretty sure, going for 100k. It's 87 overall, um, 89 speed. His shooting that is really good in the low 90s. His hands now are in the mid-range, uh, 90s there, low 90s, looking really good. Checking out McDavid now, obviously I had to toss him in here as one of the highest end uh, cards here. He's looking at 140k for his base, uh, 144k, so around there. Uh, he's He's got 94 speed, his shooting is in the high 80s, low 90s, his hands are on all 93s down the board and deking is 92 his face also an 82 again not great but my god this this card is really good at 94 his speed he's gonna absolutely blow by the defenders and now looking at his 89 prime time one obviously even better 97 speed 84 face offs shooting is in the mid range 90s low and low 90s Hands all in the 95s on the board, 94s. Just getting even better. Really nothing else to say about McDavid. Obviously, his car is just absolutely amazing. Check it out, Matthew Barzell now. 83 overall base. You could get him anywhere between 4K and 10K. Now, checking all his stats. 92 overall speed. His shooting is in the mid-range uh, 80s. His hands are in the high 80s. His face off for a 78, not great, but this is a great card for amazing value. He's gonna absolutely blow it by defenders and for an 83 base card, you you just can't go wrong here. Check it out his prime time. There's only two listed, one going for 34k, one going for 37k. Not much of a difference in his stats, but if you could pick this one up, go ahead, because his his this one is even better. At 93 speed, shooting is still in the mid-range 80s. Hands are in the higher, in the higher 80s and lower uh, 90s. Checking out and 85 overall, Trevor Zegers, their cover athlete. He's going for uh, you know 17k, 21k. You could probably find him 15k to 25k anywhere around there. Checking out his stats, 88 overall, shooting is in the high 80s. Hands are in the low 90s. Uh, Faceoffs are an 80, uh, not the best, but you know those hands being in the low 90s, I absolutely love that. His card is looking really good. He's got his prime time uh, going 50k to all the way to 60k. Checking out his stats, 89 overall uh, speed. Shooting is in the high 80s. Hands are a bit higher there at a uh, at 92s down the board. Not much of a difference, but. Still, it gets even better. The final card, we got Ryan O'Reilly. Bit of a surprise here. Going anywhere between 4K and 5K. You could get him for 4K. Checking all his stats. So his speed is not looking good in 82. So you can't, you know, can't put him on the first line. Can't put him on the second line. You can put him on the third, fourth line. And his shooting isn't great in the low 80s. But his face-offs are in 88. You can't go wrong here at an 83 overall base card and his face offs are better than most cards so this is a great card to put him on the third fourth line get he could win face offs for you and you know he isn't terrible he's going to be going up against other third fourth line players most of the teams aren't looking insane 
so he, he's gonna be he's gonna be able to compete if you guys did enjoy the video and want to see in episode 2 make sure to give it a like ring that bell for every time i upload consider subscribing to chill up the main hub for all things angel 23 thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time